Hey, sneaky nose back. Real quick one tonight. And as you know, I'm going to a new operating system very soon. So what do you do? It's time for a bit of a clean up of all the stuff you want and have and don't want. Now, some stuff I've got on here that I can't let you see for obvious reasons. Okay. So that's stuff I do for work. Okay. But in my download folder, so if I go to home first, look at all this rubbish I've got. Okay. All of this here. All this stuff here is all STL files, right? Which is for 3D printing. And I've got something else to say about that in a minute, actually. And there's loads of stuff for 3D printing. Panel stuff I've designed with Tinkercad and uh, mesh, mesh Mixer and stuff like that. And I've just left it here. And I've probably copied them over to my hard drive that I have outside the machine anyway. So why do I keep them? Because I'm lazy, okay? Even worse, I've got my downloads folder. My God. Look at all the stuff that I've kept in here. Right. Loads and loads of stuff that I didn't really need to keep, did I? All these zip files are from Thingiverse, and I've modified them to fit my own printer and stuff like that. A lot of these stuff here, like Flash Fox, I've got a Flash Fox Dreamer and a Trinus. And there's some music stuff here, because I uh, shop with 7 Digital for my music. So you get sent it in a zip file if you buy quite a bit. And I've just left it here. Why did I do it? Because I'm lazy. Oh, I'm not keeping behind the ball. Or thought that whole drive would hold everything forever. Well, it doesn't. Yeah, trust me. And I'll scroll down a bit more for you. Loads more STL files here. And they take up so much room. I mean, they're only small files, but they do take up bits and bytes of your hard drive. Which is a pain up the back side, really, isn't it? More zip files. See what I mean? I mean, I've got rid of a lot of the ISOs and transferred them over to another hard drive. Excuse me, but most of the stuff here is stuff for uh, Raspberry Pi stuff. Oh, I've got React OS VBox there. Yeah, that was a joke, wasn't it? I'll delete that while we're here, actually, while I'm with you. Okay, so go away. Not worth the effort. And get rid of that one. I don't really need that either. So, this is what I've been doing, just having a bit of a clean up before we go. Oh, all stuff I've done for Sneaky Boy for his PS4 controllers, some uh, stuff for the thumb pads and the triggers and stuff. It's, most of it is for printing, and I should have really put everything on as soon as I got it to a different hard drive. But no, I didn't, because I just thought, yeah, I'll be alright there, I've got plenty of room. <laughs> Look how much space I've got left. Hardly any. <sighs> not good, not good, not good. Okay. okay, I've kept three puppies here, but they're important. They can't go, they have to stay. And they only come to about 600 meg anyway. And I've got a, a, te a Tetris Hex there. That's for my Raspberry Pi gaming machine. Okay, it runs quite a lot of stuff. I've never seen it all, have I? Oh, pardon me. Or theme park, yeah, another one. Loads and loads of rubbish. Okay. Oh, an old Abbey Word document for using X11 in the terminal oh, for recording. Oh, and Volumo, which is for another Raspberry Pi. All stuff that I should have basically been very good and put it away in special folders on a different hard drive. So I've been, that's, that's not the half. There was loads more, loads, loads, loads more. But I just need to, to get rid of it, basically. Now, with Sabion, I've come across a bit of a problem, although I'm going to see if I can do it anyway. So I've, I've got a, a next, another hard drive that I'm going to install it on, not on this one, just in case it all doesn't work. Okay. Simplify 3D is a 3D printing program that I use and purchased. Runs on Linux for printing all my stuff on my printers okay now apparently it doesn't want to run on sabion or a gen 2 based distro but when i get it booted up on the spare hard drive i will let you know because i need to have that running there's a lot of stuff that i need to have running that maybe some of you don't like mesh mixer which works sometimes and doesn't and sometimes it wants to update and sometimes oh cura is another one that i use for 3d printing so I need all that. A Tinkercad is online, so that's nice and easy. The rest of the stuff I really need. But everything else will actually work. Okay. So, just thought I'd tell you that. So that's minus two days before installation. Nice. Sneaky Linux out. I see those. Bye-bye.